the entrance antithon, you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit coming upon you, and you will be my witnesses, even to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. The Mass this morning is being offered for Richard Vandenberg. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. You will send to him a contract for Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to the sea for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O oh Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and establish in the devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Read from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, with the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who is to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Amen. The responsorial song, Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is the most when Christ is seated at the right hand of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly, and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything, and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, 
do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Life of being as a Christian may not be easy for us sometimes. When we forgot to invite the Holy Spirit to come upon us and guide us, we may encounter some challenge somehow. When we think we have strong faith in God, challenges come to us as we fail to be aware of what it really means to be a believer and a good Christian of Christ. In our first reading today, some people also experience this happening to them. This reading comes from the Acts of the Apostle, which St. Paul speaks to some people of Ephesus. They thought that they were the believers, but they had only been baptized with the baptism of John the Baptist. They assumed that they did not receive the Holy Spirit by being baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Trinity. Then St. Paul laid his hands on them. They received the gift that flowed from the Holy Spirit present. Paul then remained with them for three months, continued to teach them and try to bring more people to the faith. As we reflect on this reading, may we continue to ask God to send the Holy Spirit to us. It is only when we are moved by the Holy Spirit, we start to put things back in perspective. It is only when we actively use the gift from the Holy Spirit, we start to have courage to face with any struggle in our life. Those gifts should be wisdom, understanding, discernment, patience, joy, peace, or reverence and endurance in the face of suffering. As we are still doing the novella of the Holy Spirit and prepare ourselves to celebrate the Pentecost Sunday in this Sunday, let us continue to turn to the Holy Spirit and ask Him to give us His gift today, tomorrow, on this Pentecost Sunday and throughout every day of our life. Taking courage in the love of our God, let us offer our prayer to Him. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life, may the Lord raise up those who will dedicate their lives to serving His people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. For those who dispense justice, may the compassionate love of Jesus create in them a mind and heart that tempers justice with mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for those gripped by fear or anxiety, may the peace of Christ give them rest in their minds and hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for an increase in vocations, <clears throat> the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we now pause to add our own intentions in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we Our family prayers, 
this morning found on the cards in your pews. Lord Jesus, you travel to towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. Come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your new love. Heal those who are sick with the virus, may they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Protect our those nurses and healthcare professionals as they help the sick. Allow the vaccine to be successful in marking the spread of the virus. Be with leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act with true concern for their people. Grant us peace in this time of uncertainty and challenge. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus. For you are our loving and holy Lord. Our Lady of God, Sucker, Saint Joseph, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Mark, Saint Nicholas. Pray for us. Our family prayer. Loving and faithful God, through the years that people are diocese, that appreciate the prayers and love of Our Lady of God, Sucker. In times of war, disaster, pandemic, and illness, we come to you, Father, and Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community grounded on the bodies of Jesus, which gives respect to the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may form their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be strengthened in Christ's time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones in violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this to Christ our Lord, our Lady of Christ our Lord, patient to help us. Mother, hand of you, we pray for us that we may be able to go back home. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Praise my brother and sister that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of praise from on high, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is the truly right and just, our unity and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples, and will take it up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with passable joy every land, every people, exhaust in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together in any hymns of your glory. As they look like, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heavens. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heavens. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. My holy and holy is if we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a new hope so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave this to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when suppose was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave his, his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of prayer. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have kept us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brother and sister who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her child, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the same command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Lord, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save for all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your Apostle, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion antiphon. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come to you again, and your heart will rejoice. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mystery to pass on all away to the newness of life through Christ our Lord. Right, the Saint Michael the Archangel, we will pray the novena to the Holy Spirit. So if you have time, please stay for the novena for the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us from God. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God build him with humbly pray and do thou us the prince of the heavenly host. By the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the rules of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the heart of your people and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. You shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the heart of the people by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always wise and ever rejoice in your consolation. Through Christ our Lord. 